your complete four-step morning skincare routine in just two products. Garnier has released some new skincare on the market and I've been testing them for the last couple of weeks. And today I'm going to share my thoughts with you on that. Hi everyone, welcome back to Sherry Proof. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. So a couple of videos ago, I spoke about some skincare trends that have been happening for the last year, one of them being skinimalism. And Garnier has put out a line of skincare that is completely on trend with this particular topic. Today, I'm going to share those with you. I have them all here and it's a, a new line under the Garnier brand called Green Labs. And there are a couple of things that I want to share with you. We're going to talk about all the different products in the line that they have released so far who it might be for who it may not be for and some of the things that i've noticed in my own use of these products so i hope that information is going to be useful for you i wanted to point out a couple of things about the green labs line from garnier that really stood out to me for example the packaging of the products are made from 100 percent recycled plastics they are produced by plants that are 65 percent powered by renewable energy resources and something to take in consideration is that the products are free of mineral oils, parabens and dyes if that is of interest to you. So when Garnier says that they want to improve the look and feel of your skin while being mindful of the planet, I think that is absolutely clear. The entire aesthetic of the line is very earthy, very tropical, very, you know, it just gives you the vibes of nature. And I absolutely love that. It's very aesthetically pleasing. And I love that they are doing a lot of things and taking into consideration because the skincare industry has so much waste that they are making steps to make their contribution to preserving our planet. Essentially, Garnier is promising us that we can do our complete morning skincare routine with just two products. So they've created a cleanser and a cream product. They have three different options for you. And the concept is that, of course, your cleanser is going to cleanse. But then this product is a three in one product that contains a serum, a moisturizer and an SPF. So essentially you wash your face, you put this on and you're done and you're good to go. Now, the line has several claims that goes across all the products and then some that are specific to each of the different lines which we will go through but essentially they are saying that it's going to be absorbed really quickly it's going to give you 24 hour moisture it's going to be a great makeup base and it's not going to leave any cast on all skin tones there are three lines they have their brightening pinea c line which is targeting dull and uneven skin then they also have the replumping hyaluron melon line which is targeting dehydrated skin with fine lines and then they have their pore perfecting cannabis B line which is for combo to oily skin i think you guys may know which one i would have gravitated to at the beginning but then there are some things about some of the other products that completely surprised me in a good way of course so let's start with the pinea c or the brightening line um which is one that i expected to love and this is the first one I actually tried so they created a cleanser and this is what it looks like and then they also created a moisturizer um well the moisturizer that is a tree and one now Garnier says that this is the first product of its kind on the market i'm not sure that i will actually say that because there are products at sephora products in asian beauty and so on that actually kind of do the same thing but in this sense this is actually marketed like that that it contains the superfoods as well that will have ingredients to kind of fill your serum step but it's also essentially a moisturizer a cream based product that has spf 30. so the whole idea is that you are getting the potency of your serum this is what they say the hydration of your moisturizer and the protection of your spf so let's talk about this line so the pinea c which is targeting dull and even skin tone the key thing here is that it contains pineapple extract or pineapple enzymes and vitamin c the form of vitamin c in here is ascorbyl glucoside which is a vitamin c derivative and then of course those two key ingredients is what is duplicated in both products and the idea is that if you use both products they are making some serious claims for example they claim that you your skin is going to be looking glowing it's going to be looking healthy in three days and the dark spots will fade over time now the cleanser is a very lightweight runny gel i actually found of all the cleansers i actually had to use the most of this particular cleanser to get the kind of lather or the cleanse that i liked however it cleans really well without stripping and that's something that you will find going across this line and has a very very light fragrance it is very very refreshing to smell you get that slight sweetness of the pineapple 
um, which is nice. I actually love, love using this. And then, of course, you have the cream that has this vitamin C and pineapple extract as well. Now, something you should know about pineapple extract or pineapple enzymes is that they will very gently exfoliate your skin. And you all know I am all about consistent, gentle exfoliation. So they are right. Over time, you will start to see some improvement in your skin because of that ingredient in there. However, what I noticed is that I couldn't find the percentage of vitamin C in this product located anywhere i heard somewhere mention one percent don't quote me on that because i'm absolutely not sure if it's one percent if it's one percent that's like nothing so i'm going to tell you right off the bat if there is a very very low percentage of vitamin c especially because it's a vitamin c derivative in this product it is going to take a very very long time for you to see the benefit of vitamin c that we talk about in terms of vitamin c serums from this product you will see some fading of dark spots and so on because this is an SPF product. And if you are applying the amount that you're supposed to apply, that is going to be your main protection. That, that is definitely going to help reduce dark spots because SPF is your first line of protection. The pineapple enzymes in there is going to give you some gentle exfoliation. If you're using that every day, you are going to see the benefit. But in terms of vitamin C, studies have shown that you really want to have over 8% of vitamin C in a product to really be able to get the benefits. And keep in mind that that has to do with l acid. When we're talking about vitamin C derivatives, those have to be converted to l acid in the skin. And when they convert to l acid, the percentage that of course of the vitamin c derivative is actually less when it converts the to, to actually have the benefit so you will actually be getting less and this is a vitamin c derivative so i would really love garnier to probably disclose or say how much vitamin c we actually have in this product but besides that even if it really doesn't have a high amount you will definitely get some benefit from those pineapple enzymes now one of the things that i want to bring up and that's going to cover this entire line is that for this to work as your SPF or as your only SPF, you need to be using a half teaspoon of product that will be enough for your face, your ears and your neck, which is exactly where you want to make sure your product goes. If you are just dotting this all over your face, like some people will use moisturizers, this will not give you SPF 30 protection. So you want to make sure that you're using enough product. A lot of us use the two finger rule. Some people do the three finger rule. That is really just to show you how much product that you should be using. Again, this will go across the lines. Garnier does say that you will get no white cast. While that might actually be something that is used for the marketing of this product, it's absolutely true. Why? Because the SPF in here are chemical filters. And we all know that especially for people of color, a lot of us struggle with SPFs because of the white cast. And as I explained in previous videos as well, that white cast will generally happen if you're using physical or mineral UV filters such as titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which will tend to leave a white cast. The ones that are chemical filters which are in this product which i will list on the screen all of these are chemical filters that will absolutely absorb into your skin without any white cast and they will leave no residue so really and truly it is because of the chemical filter in this product which is why you will have no white cast that's not something that's new to garnier green lamps it is in a lot of other spf products that you will find that will not leave a white cast but it's important to know in testing all of these products this was the first moisturizer that i used and within two minutes of putting it on i started to have a lot of irritation my eyes started to water and sting and burn and then around my nose and areas and my cheeks started to burn because i have sensitivities and allergies to chemical uv filters <laughs> and of course from the time that started to happen i realized oh my goodness that's exactly why um that was happening so i had to go remove it from my skin I did try it another day and what I did is I tried to probably put it on other parts of my face, keep it away from my eyes and around the center of my face, which is where I tend to have most of the reaction. And within five minutes, I was still having the reaction. So I also had to wash it off my face. So in that sense, I cannot give you any review on the long-term use of the creams. I can tell you, however, my skin looked absolutely beautiful and healthy they absorbed really well into the skin i love the feel of the product and you can tell because the base of all these moisturizers are glycerin and dimethicone that being said this is why this actually makes a really good makeup base because those two ingredients glycerin and dimethicone actually used in a lot of makeup primers so if you're going to wear makeup in this particular line you could actually skip on your primer because this will work just fine for you the next line is their Hyaloom Melon line for dehydrated skin with fine lines. And this is what it looks like. And this is the one that I actually decided to try last because I really didn't think that this one would be applicable to my skin. So I, I was actually kind of putting off trying this. And this is the one that actually shocked me the most. This cleanser, I'm going to tell you right now, is 
absolutely amazing now they say that it is a smoothing milky wash with this you need less than a pea size in order to get a proper cleanse with this cleanser it is beautiful in my morning skincare routine it is a beautiful in my nighttime skincare routine it is one of these cleansers that although they say it is for dehydrated skin keep in mind that oily skin can be many times dehydrated it is going to cleanse your skin so well with outstripping it at all but it's going to leave it feeling moisturized clean refreshed i absolutely love 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 this cleanser it is amazing so don't think that just because you might be oily a combination that you might pass this one and go over to others i actually ended up preferring this over the vitamin c cleanser although i like that but because i also need to use less of this particular product this one will actually last me longer the cream in this particular one again also is your three in one because it contains um, superfoods in this case hyaluronic acid and watermelon extract which are known for plumping the skin because it will attract moisture to your skin now here's a tip if you put hyaluronic acid on your skin it is going to temporarily help to reduce the appearance of your fine lines hence the name of this particular line so if you are using this over time you will start to see some improvement in that because you are basically putting water into dehydrated areas i did test it for the purpose of testing and then just washed it off again because this one contains the same chemical uv filters which i have sensitivities to but i did try the cream and this one out of all of them is a little bit denser but that doesn't mean that while it's thicker that it's not going to absorb into the skin but i could definitely feel and see why somebody with drier skin may like this one more than the others so for sure the cream definitely applicable to drier skin the cleanser i think many skin types could actually use it and do pass over on that at all now of course you would expect that this one would be the one that attracted me the most right the pore perfecting three in one for combination oily skin and this is the canopy line this is the cleanser this is the three in one cream and of course this one has cannabis sativa oil which if you google if you do some research you're going to see how many benefits it has for skin it is showing up in a lot of skincare products right now really really trending but that b3 in here is niacinamide an ingredient you guys know that i love again Garnier did not disclose how much niacinamide is in this product but niacinamide as lost two percent will definitely give you results over a longer period of time the cleansers in this line really blew me away because those are the actual products that i've been able to use consistently this one is the one that is unique in that it is a three-in-one product it is a cleanser exfoliator and mask now while they say exfoliator you're not going to find any harsh grains or anything like that in this product what i actually love about it is that it comes out very very creamy you need a little bit again it goes a long way when you add water it's going to give you a nice velvety feel on the skin it's going to cleanse your skin again without stripping i really want to give garnier thumbs up because the cleansers in this line are absolutely fabulous this one has a very light refreshing smell it has menthol in it and it also has salicylic acid yay for people who are oily acne prone now the good thing about it is that you could use this as a cleanser and if you want to be able to do a mask a couple times of the week a very quick mask you could put this on your dry skin paint it on like you would a wash off mask leave it for five minutes and then rinse off that menthol is very cooling very very calming for me as a mask it is also an amazing product i did not find this to be stripping at all and i love this and i will definitely keep using this product the moisturizer as well um i did test it it absorbed beautifully into the skin it feels really nice out of all the three this one i love the most on my skin and i guess it's because this one was created for my skin type the way it sat on my skin the way it felt really nice lightweight but still hydrating and i could definitely see it being a great makeup base if you can use those uv filters you will definitely find this product useful now something that i want to point out particularly about the pore perfecting serum cream is that this is the only one that is labeled fragrance free i did check through all the other products they all have fragrance or perfume um, and something that's interesting is that garnier says that the products are suitable for sensitive skin now if you are sensitive to fragrances or scents you might want to be mindful of that and take that in consideration when making your choices this cream does not have it at all you could actually tell because the others smell really really nice it's not that this one does not smell good but i could tell because i use so much skincare products that it really does not have any fragrance added it's really just smelling like plain skincare and that's completely fine because that means that several of you may be able to use this one so who would i recommend this line for now remember, this is your complete morning skincare routine in just two steps. We know that the base of any skincare routine is a good cleanser, moisturizer, and SPF. And Garnier Green Labs have definitely covered that in these 
products. We have three lines, so more than likely most skin types should be able to find something that they can use from the particular line. But who do I recommend these products for? So the first thing is if you are just starting your skincare routine and looking at skincare routines that people like me do is completely overwhelming to you, this is perfect because you just have two steps. You basically wash your face and then you apply the appropriate amount of the product and you are done and you're good to go. You have on your moisturizer, you have on your SPF and you are getting some ingredients to have some impact on your skin somebody who is probably already into skincare they already have a skincare routine but they probably want to get on this trend of skinimalism they probably want to reduce the amount of steps in their morning skincare um, maybe you need to be hustling and getting out of the door really quickly you are a busy mom anybody that really just wants a very simple skincare routine this is exactly what you need who else is this for men no don't get me wrong, there are some men who are hugely into skincare and they will do the 10 steps. But in general, most men who want to get into skincare, they are looking for very, very simple, very, very quick. And this gives them everything that they basically need. A good cleanser and then they have a product that is not only going to hydrate and moisturize their skin, but it's also going to give them their SPF protection. I also recommend this for your your children. When I say children, I mean like your preteens and your teenagers. Now, there is something, especially with people of color and in general, like we don't necessarily encourage skincare or encourage the use of SPF. And that's something that we really, really need to change in our culture or the way we raise our children. We need to help them understand that application of SPF daily is just as important as taking a shower, just as important as brushing your teeth. So if you can get them really to start very, very simply to make sure that they're taking care of their skin from this stage before they probably develop any particular issues and so on that's going to be really really good and it's going to really help them to graduate into whatever else they're going to be having to use in the future the good thing about it is that in just two steps they just cleanse and they put on a product and they not only have their moisturizer but they have their spf most people will like the feel of the product on the skin it's not going to feel heavy um the look of it as well so i think it's going to be a really good way to get your children um into a simple skincare routine so who is this not for? Now, you all know I love skincare and that's why I'm trying this. I have a ton of skincare in my collection, but do you kind of person that I am and the amount of steps that I love in my skincare routine this is really not the type of routine that I will generally reach for but honestly when I think about like when I had to go make my daughter in the hospital this is exactly what I would have wanted to carry or probably just going away to the beach for the weekend or something like that this is exactly what I would like to have to pack it's going to be so easy so simple instead of carrying my whole tralala for just two or three days this is perfect for somebody like me but in general I may not necessarily be the target for this particular line the second group of people that i will say this line is probably not necessarily all that they may want in their skincare routine is somebody who actually has like real skin issues so for example if you are really dealing with hyperpigmentation or melasma or you probably have acne these alone for example the pinea c line may not be enough for you because of that low percentage of vitamin c which is my concern that is not going to be enough for people who are actually dealing with real hyperpigmentation issues so you may still want to include a targeted product this could still be a part of your routine because you have your cleanser, you would have your good moisturizer and SPF, but that serum step would be the part that I'm concerned with, especially if you're dealing with serious issues. Who else? I definitely don't recommend this line for people who have sensitivities or allergies to chemical UV filters. When you buy this product and you put it on, your eyes are going to burn, you are going to have issues, and then you may be tempted to say, oh my goodness, this is not a good product. It's not that it's not a good product. It's fine. It's just that these particular UV filters just don't work for you. There are millions of people around the world for whom chemical UV filters work perfectly fine. And people who are okay with that and they want no white cast, this is the type of product that you actually need. But if you're like me, then that's why we need to kind of go over to mineral filters or we need to look for SPS with different types of filters. So yeah, you just want to be mindful of that. People who are sensitive to fragrance, I will just say proceed with caution because while the fragrance fragrances are very very light and mild um, depending on your level of sensitivity it could create a flare or an issue for you so you want to just be careful of that like I said only the cream and the pore perfecting line has no added fragrance and finally this is your morning skincare routine it's not your nighttime skincare routine while the cleansers are perfectly fine to use at night as well 
unless you actually want to sleep with SPF, you may not be wanting to use that moisturizer at night. So I'm really hoping that Garnier will come out with probably a two-step or another product that could be used in people's nighttime routine. So those of you who really love very, very simple skincare routines, you have good skin, you just want to maintain it, you want to make sure that you're cleansing, moisturizing, doing your SPF and probably having an overnight treatment, that this will be perfect for you. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Garnier is going to bring out in the future. So guys, we've come to the end of this video and I'm almost sure that I've left something out, but this video is way too long. I hope that the information that I provided is very, very useful for you. And if you've tried these products, I'd love to hear any comments below your thoughts on it. Definitely don't ignore them. They are very, very affordable as well. Like I think they are around 10 US each, which is really affordable when it comes to skincare and especially for what you're getting. So definitely check it out and don't bypass this cleanser don't don't i'm telling you it is fabulous <laughs> i'll see you guys soon in another video take care bye